Okay, now what? What do I know about this thing? I know that I want more clearance between this bearing and the blade. So I want to move this bearing back here somewhere, probably somewhere around there. Uh, and it looks like this is part of the bearing here, yeah. It's not a separate piece, no, that's part of the bearing. It looks like I have to unscrew a couple screws, loosen those, and then if I'm super lucky, this will just slide right over. Ha ha ha. This is all rusty though. It's probably, I'm gonna, probably going to have to sand this to get this thing to move. Uh, move this one, it looks like. Yep. Oh, nice. I love it when these loosen right up. Because sometimes they get rusted and you can't turn them. Oh, oh my gosh, it slides. But yeah, it's hitting up against rust. But it is loose. So I think I just need to sand off this a little and it'll be able to slide right up. Eesh. Lots of crap on there. Yep. Let's get this thing. Oh, come on. All right, not quite yet. Oh, look at that. I know I want to connect these bearings to the motor. And then I also need a pivot point um, so that I can have the blade cut like this when it's on there. And then I can tilt the whole thing so it can cut like this. Well, actually it'll cut like that and then cut like that, but it's on the table, so whatever. And when I pivot it, uh, I'll have like, if I'm, when I'm cutting this way, I'll have this edge of the blade. And when I pivot it, I want this edge to be right where that one was. So if I do two cuts, then flip the blade, I can cut straight out of thing. And this doesn't overlap into the next board, it'll just cut like, you know, just like that. Just like, right there. Okay, so to get it to that, this is a 12 inch blade. That means I need to pivot six inches away from there, six noodle units, which happens to be right in the middle of this this bearing, which I, I didn't do on purpose, but I just measured it, and yeah, that's six six noodles right up to these screw holes, so right in the center. So I need to have it pivoted right in line with the axle here, and my first thought looking at this is maybe I can find some L channel that I can bolt these onto, bolt the bearings onto, and then that side of the L can attach to the motor back there. And since the L will come up, then I can attach something here to make it the pivot points. Yeah, so maybe, do I have any L channel, stainless pr preferably, that'll fit that. Ta, I could use these if I wanted to make the thing weigh like a million pounds. It's already heavy enough, this motor is pretty heavy. Actually, all of this stuff, the whole thing is pretty heavy. So I don't, I don't want to add too much weight. And I want to make everything as, well now let me, let me think about this first. So I'm thinking I want to make everything as stainless steel as possible. But obviously, like all of these parts are not stainless. The motor's not stainless, none of this is, none of this, none of this stuff is stainless. So if I make, this part out of something not stainless, it's not really going to make that much of a difference. So maybe I won't worry about making sure this whole thing is stainless because it's already a whole bunch of pieces not. And then once I get the pivot point here, from that pivot point onto everything else, I can make everything else stainless. And I want to make everything stainless because it's a machine that's going to be sitting outside and you know there's salt water around. I'm in the ocean, I'm on an island. And I don't want the thing to rust. So I'm already going to have to be careful about these parts, keep them oiled, 
and whenever I'm not using it, put a cover on. So yeah, it's not gonna matter much here. But then all the rest of the frame and the track and everything, I wanna make sure that's all stainless because I don't wanna have to cover up this entire huge machine every time I'm not using it. Okay, so oh, let's see if we can find something that fits here. And it does not have to be stain stainless, which makes it a lot easier to find, possibly. Oh, I could cut out some of that, man. That's some serious stuff. We're going to cut out some of this I-beam. Wait a minute, you know, where is it? I've got, hold on, somewhere around here. Oh, right. All right, things I'm looking for are these. It's like a T-beam. Pretty long, and there's a matching one right here. So this could be where the bearings bolt down, and then the the pivoter can be attached here, and the motor can be attached there, back there. I have to cut some of this off. Oh, I gotta organize this a little better. I've got this cart here, which is actually pretty pretty big. Also has some wheels on the bottom. I was thinking of using this. But now I'm thinking this will be part of the next section. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can save that, not use the stainless. Oh, what do I have hidden back here? All right, and I've got all this stuff here. This is mostly not real heavy duty stuff though, and most, mostly aluminum, aluminum. A little bit of stainless steel. Wait a minute. This, oh, that might be useful. This here is a boat ladder. Hmm, both stainless. So, let me think. Hmm, I must be getting serious pulling all this stuff out now. Shirts in this room right now. Cripes. There we go. Sheesh. I need the bottom piece. Why can't I why can't I need a piece that's on the top? Seriously. Alright, right, before I go pull on the other one of those out, let's see what we've got here. Is this even what I'm gonna use? You know, sometimes people ask me if I miss anything about winters, cold weather. And yeah, you know, not not being hot all the time. Like here in Central America, the temperature is generally pretty comfortable. As soon as I start lifting anything heavy or running a little, man, it's, it's, I'm, I'm just hot all the time. Okay, let's, let's look what's going on here. This thing is pretty heavy, which isn't a terrible thing. So if I make this whole uh, setup kind of heavy, it'll cut down on vibrations. So, I mean, that will be a useful thing, but it's already pretty heavy and I don't need to, yeah. I don't need to make it as heavy as this is gonna make it. So, and this is way stronger than it needs to be. So maybe I, I cut this down here. So it has enough space to, to bolt into right here. These bolts can go in there, drill some holes. And then this will get cut back flush here. So this whole chunk goes out. So this can go flat up against the motor. And then the silly thing here is this entire bottom, I don't need that. I just, I just, <laughs> oh, I don't need most of this. All I need is this right here, not like cut that, Shh. this, and then just this flat part here. Another option would be to do it this way. I don't know, which, I don't know which is better. This doesn't really matter that much. 
Man, if I'm only using this and this, I'm wasting all of that, all this piece down here. <sighs> It'd be really nice if I could find something where I had to cut off less. Like, if I had some longer ones of these, but I don't. Argh. I mean, I won't waste it all. I'll use it for something eventually. Is there any way I can get two of these out of this one piece? Well, let me think about that for a minute. Maybe, okay, if I put it like, if I put it like that. Okay, if I cut this here, I only, I only need half of this top piece to bolt into, right? So I cut it in half, and then cut this bottom chunk off here, and then I cut this off here, which would leave that and the bottom chunk here, and if I take <laughs> and flip it over, it ends up being the exact same piece as this but I need the opposite. Okay. Is there any way I can get the opposite piece out of this? Some, all right, come on, Jamie. Just... What if, okay, bolt that into there, keep this here, cut that, but I need the whole thing up here. Arr, come on. Okay, wait a minute. I don't need this whole piece across here to bolt two spots. I only need two tabs. And this is plenty thick. I don't need huge tabs. I mean, it's incredibly strong stuff. So I leave a tab here, and I leave another tab here. And those two spots will bolt into here. And I cut off the rest of this, and I cut that off. So all I'm taking off is this section plus two tabs. And then when I use the bottom piece, I make two tabs right next to those ones. And those will be connected to the bottom piece. And that means the bottom piece will be shorter by about that much. But I've got enough clearance. It can be that much shorter and still connect to the motor. I think that's it. All right, I can get two pieces out of this one. Good. And I'm on my last cutter wheel. Oh, that is so not gonna last through all those cuts. Oh, I have to get more of those. Oh, wait a minute. Found a few used ones of these. Oh, yeah, that one's looking in bad shape, but uh, should be all right. Okay, out of these, I can probably cut all this maybe. Oh, well, let's see how it goes. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute was that. I checked, it's not. It's not strong enough. Not thick. Hold on a minute. I still have this thing. And it's got... Well, I wonder if any of these are long enough. <sighs> hmm. Nah, on those other pieces, the length is the question, and the side piece doesn't come up high enough to make it easy to connect that pivot point that I'm going to need. So, yeah, I think this is my best option. I can get both pieces out of this. I'm pretty sure I have enough cutters. I don't know how to draw on this stuff, but whatever, I, I can do it. Oh yeah, I can see a pencil line. That's good. grinder can't fit in here. Sawzall seems pretty hot. I don't want to keep pushing it. Okay, I cut here and there and here, then there, then here. So I should just have to drill up from the other side. Here, 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 here. Four holes and the whole thing should come apart. It's dumb as crap.
Pretty close to coming apart. Sweet. <laughs> no idea what I'll do with that. Okay, now if I screw anything up, this should become something useful. Oh, I don't want to bend anything. Get off. <laughs> oh, you little car. This is not supposed to be a hinge. Come on, come on, little bugger. Any luck? My bearing blocks will fit here. <laughs> they better. Motor will fit in here. I'm gonna cut the end of that off and trim this. Oh, two more cuts. All right. Well, that looks like it might actually turn out pretty good. Oh, cool. Hmm. And I do not feel like trimming that or that or cleaning up the edges right now. I'm gonna leave the rest for tomorrow. <laughs>